Hello, Macy here. I've been looking at some of these old Isprit videos. This one is from Isprit Destroys Spy Satellite. Trying to work out their eligibility for naval service. But they're not really that um, suitable for it. They have no docking ports. They have no RCS control. And um, they're not modular. And they don't have a very long range. So I've tried to address this. And I've come up with um, a solution. Now this is a Isprit squadron. So it's designed basically to get three Isprits fully armed all the way to lathe and um, once there they can then deploy as a squadron without the need of a carrier or a support vessel or anything to get them there and taking them individually would have been too um, annoying. The first fighter in the squadron is an Isprit Mark V with the new weapon loadout. The other two are my new naval Isprits which I'll get to later but when they get into a situation they can just deploy like this and be independently three fighters in a matter of moments so I don't have to worry about the logistics of a fighter wing they can just attack like that immediately this is the staging on the bottom to get it into space and I will show you how to get this into space and the craft file is included we'll get to that in a minute um, yet again I've had to employ a trapeze act of ladders to get two extra Kerbals on board because the leader is essentially the pilot of the three stages he's already on there so I need to get two more in um, to the other two fighters and you've come to expect this of me I will do everything the hard way recently as per your comments I've been feeling more obligated to um, show you how these ships work and how they get into orbit that was never really my intention with these videos initially but um, I'm glad you are flying them and I'm uh, I want to actually help, but I don't. They're not very well designed, some of them. But um, from now on, I will show you how to get into orbit, and I'll talk about them a little bit more. This is another speeded up frame. So once you've launched, you can launch at full power. You drop the first tank with space as soon as that runs out, and then you drop the second tank with space as soon as that runs out. Now we need to climb just on those, and when we get to that point, the same as before with the battle cruiser, around about. Um, 11,000 then we can start our gravity turn by turning 45 degrees east and continue to burn full whack now and all you have to do is to keep your heading in the middle of that yellow marker until it runs out of fuel and then we have to eject this bottom stage and continue on atomic engines from now on now this is the final stage and this should get you to lave but to start with you need to get it into orbit and like the battle cruiser it's going to be a long burn to get this speed up to where we need it but just keep it as a gravity turn for now all the way up to the zenith so keep your heading inside that marker and when we sail over the zenith we are not going to be at the speeds we need to keep orbit so you're going to have to keep burning and on this side this is slightly um, inefficient but I don't, it doesn't have the power you have to keep your nose up a bit now to make sure the orbit circularizes in the right direction so keep it going keep it going keep it going you'll notice that you're gathering speed much quicker now on the way down and but the orbits the wrong shape so you just put your nose up a little bit and keep burning and keep burning until you can lift the far side of your orbit out of atmosphere so here it comes but you can see now that the other side of my orbit is now extending way beyond where I need to be so I've pointed myself practically directly away from the planet here just to finalize that orbit and there you are just sail through the outer atmosphere here and then once you get to the other side turn round and circularize that orbit I've kept the terminology um, quite simple here and I've kept the ascent stage as simple as I can get away with to encourage um, the new players to KSP but I have to remind you that all of these ships these bigger ships aren't straightforward and it isn't a good way to learn the game as such and in many ways in my efforts to make them simpler to launch I am actually making them quite bad <laughs> as well so so to all you vets out there please feel free to redesign these launch stages any way you see fit onion staging or asparagus or anything that you feel that you should so this is a new battle cruiser in orbit ready for the next episode and we'll deal with that then for the second half of this video I want to concentrate specifically on these Isprits, what I've done to them and tell you exactly how to fly them so hopefully eliminate some of these questions before you've even had the chance to ask them, that's my intention anyway um, this is the 
Mark VI, which is exactly the same as the Mark V, but with the new armament. The old missiles that I had on these ships no longer work with this version, so they needed redesigning. I'm going to call these missiles, they're more of a missile torpedo hybrid. Torpedoes only work in space, much like um, torpedoes in real life would only work in water. But these do work in atmosphere as well, so they're more missiles. Um, they have a very high payload, they do explode quite nicely. They are very similar in design to Zolfri Sumro's Octo torpedoes. Um, I will be releasing a tutorial after this video showing you exactly how I made them. Um, but for now I just want to test them and I'm going to see if I can hit this control tower much like the last video. And look straight. And that's a hit. So they're accurate enough in atmosphere. Um, now I want to have a look at these naval isprits. I spent a lot of time redesigning these because it's hard to redesign a VTOL because of the balance issues. But this is what I've come up with. It does have docking ports. It is fully modular and it has RCS control so it can dock with the carrier. All the new models are slightly different from each other but I will use this as a benchmark to explain to you exactly how to fly these isprits and um, anyone can have fun with this whether it's for battling or not. Extend the legs, engage SAS, throttle up to maximum then hit 2 and you should begin to rise into the air. Pull back very slightly um, just to correct your forward movement. All space planes want to inexorably travel forward for some reason. You can input minor adjustments with SAS on, but SAS is your friend with these VTOLs. So make sure you're nice and level and you're not drifting anywhere to start with. And um, once you're happy with that, then you can engage the main engine by pressing 1 and off we go. Keep the VTOL engines on for a while until you've got your speed up to about 40 meters per second then you can shut them off by pressing 2 again it's always a toggle on and off with these controls and then you're free to fly it's very maneuverable it still turns on a sixpence despite the extra weight I've had to put on this version it's not as nice as the Mark V to fly but I mean it can't be really with the extra weight but I think it suffices I like the snub nosed look of the docking port at the front but if you want to put the covered docking port on it then go ahead but it's a little bit extra weight. Um, okay now to land. This is always the hard bit with VTOLs and I do get a lot of questions um, asking me how this works but I've incorporated this little jet, this third VTOL which you engage by pressing 3 which can help you slow your descent as you're coming down. Um, do all this in free flight for now and then when you've got level hit SAS like I've said before SAS is your friend otherwise you've got too many things to do at once so get yourself nice and level then hit SAS when you get low to the ground all I've done there is engaged the other VTOL engines with two again don't put them on too hard otherwise you'll just fly back into the air tip your nose up ever so slightly to kill your forward momentum put your gear down and just ease it back because the fuel is drained and the weight is shifted we need all five VTOL engines to maintain stability and I think this is where a lot of people um, go wrong so I hope this helped and if I've missed something please comment I will respond to you this is the same model Isprit with missiles attached which is a little bit harder to fly but I did that flight tutorial without the missiles because as soon as it's fired its missiles it will behave exactly as the um, one we've just been playing with um, getting it into the air is much harder because you need more than four engines and five engines will overbalance it so I spent a whole evening developing an autopilot for you guys to make this um, easy to get into the air. All you need to do is press 1, 2 and 3 at the same time and that will autopilot you without any control, hands off the keyboard entirely will get you to this position. All you need to do then is to hit 2 to take off these VTOL engines, keep that one on for a bit and just gather some speed and lift your nose up and then you can turn it off and you're in the air. Now this flies a lot heavier as you can imagine so take it easy and keep your nose up but it's still very maneuverable this video is a bit different it's more of a tutorial I guess but um, like I said before I've been feeling more obligated recently to making these ships actually work for you uh, not just for me because um, a lot of you are downloading them and a lot of you are having fun and that's generating a lot of questions which um, I do apologize if I haven't got around to responding to all of them it is getting quite hard to do that but I hope some of those questions 
involving how to fly the Esprit have been answered um, during this video and if you haven't yet please give it a go it is extraordinarily fun to fly and you can always um, retro engineer it and mess around with it um, that's testing the missiles press zero to fire both missiles one missed but um, I didn't really line it up very well but they do work so that's the new Isprits I've grouped them all together in a little bundle for download so you can have all of the variants you've seen in this plus a few newer ones even I've been tinkering with them for days now. Um, I did run into a few problems, especially with that autopilot thing. But um, I'm really pleased with the result. I do like these naval isprits. I think they look quite cool and they should be quite functional, hopefully. I intend to join these to the fleet to fill the gap between the very light mosquitoes and the much heavier battle cruiser. So thanks for watching and I hope you have fun with that download. Bye for now.